okay before we go to this topic create sales quotation we have uh, some prerequisites that we need to complete so that we can uh, create the sales quotation so I've created a new topic called prerequisites to sales quotation in this topic I'll explain to you what are the prerequisites before we go and create a sales quotation the first and foremost is that um, you need to assign a partner determination function to our customer account group what you're seeing here in the middle of this table label as account group is actually customer account group I've already shown you how to create custom account group in the FICO training uh, videos just to recap your memory if you have if you're not a FICO consultant uh, let me just show you where can you create it it should be here receivable customer accounts master data preparation for creating uh, customer master data and uh, define account groups yes here this is where we create the customer account groups our customer account group is TCUS trade customers so is using this T code here there's no T code for this the menu path is once again financial accounting account receivable payable customer master accounts master data define account groups how would I know the account group that is uh, used to create a particular customer account for example when we go to our customer account I can see my customer account is uh, 50002 how would I know what account group this customer was created from you cannot find out from this XD03 you need to go to XD01 which is creating a customer from here you can find it out because uh, by virtue of uh, knowing that our customer number range which is five zero 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 two I can actually look up here on the account group what you can see here is a description of the account group you know that I created uh, my customer from this discretion trade customers but if you don't know if you have forgotten which account group we created from just look up here and uh, all the account group customer account group will be displayed and the number range will be displayed here so from the number ranges you can roughly find out that this is the account group because my number range is five zero 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 two so um, logically this is the account group which matches my customer account uh, number range so you can find out that this is the account group TCUS on the other hand if you think that this is not very exact for you to find out the customer account group just look up from the tables go to data browser SE16 enter our table name customer table name KNA1 press enter enter our customer account number 50002 execute you'll get the customer double click on it then you scroll down to this field account group so this is more clear that the account group which is used to create this uh, customer uh, number is TCAS so based on this information let me go back to account group so this is how it has been created 
aquí cas create customers okay I can specify some uh, account group level uh, field uh, specification like uh, postal code should be required entry and uh, search term should be optional entry things like that at the account group level so this topic has been covered in the FICO training video so if you want to understand more you need to buy the FICO training video since this is a job of uh, FICO consultant to set up the account group uh, we, I'm not covering that part in this SD module training videos this is just to give you an understanding let me close here but what we need to understand as a SD consultant is that for each and every account group that has been created we need to assign a partner determination uh, function and uh, function okay let me do that I'm going to go to TCAS over here so you need to assign TCAS for each and every uh, partner function which is mandatory so before that if you're wondering how would I know which are the partner functions I need to assign the account group to I've you need to revisit this topic here because I've already explained how the partner functions and partner determination is set up so please revisit this video if you want to understand that but I just want to remind you that for all the mandatory partner function you need to assign the account group and before that for our account group we need to assign a partner function which is AG that I have already assigned so if you want to know what are the partner function that is mandatory in uh, partner determination AG I need to go here double click here sorry not double click just single click and uh, open up this node and from here you will know that which are the partner functions mandatory you can see sold to party is mandatory bill to party is mandatory ship to party is mandatory so you need to assign a um, customer account group for each of these mandatory partner functions only then you can proceed to create a sales quotation and the other important prerequisite that you need to be wary of is this let me show you let me try to create a quotation I'll show you the error message before that uh, let me show you what it is I'm selecting qu quotation type KT I'll explain uh, uh, why I'm selecting quotation type QT in the create sales quotation uh, training but for now just bear with me I just want to show you an error message because it's not complete yet for us to create a quotation press enter see it says no pricing procedure could be determined this means that if you double click you'll get a long text so you can understand this more this means that appropriate pricing procedure could not be determined the pricing procedure is important so that the sales order will know what uh, price that should be uh, determined the sales price I'm talking about the sales price should be determined for each and every uh, product that you're going to select here so that pricing procedure has not been assigned to this customer yet so how do we assign that you need to go here let's go to SPRO and go to sales and distribution
basic functions pricing pricing control define and assign pricing procedure go in here and define pricing procedure determination go in here okay what this table shows is that we need to assign a pricing procedure for each and every sales area that we have in our system so this means that if we have a sales organization NY you need to assign a pricing procedure so that you will not hit that error again and this is only the first step you need to do another step before that error can be cleared so what the other question you may have is that what is the pricing procedure you can assign because since I'm going to cover the pricing procedure in this sub module here I'm not going to explain in detail about pricing procedure but I'm just going to explain to you some important setting settings that needs to be done before we can create a uh, sales quotation so just bear with me on the details of this pricing procedure information and things like that I'm going to cover that in the in my sub module here so till then just bear in mind that just choose a standard pricing procedure how do you know which is standard just remember this code this will be the standard if not just zoom in and look for the description called standard and assign it RB is it RBA1 yeah this is the one which is the standard pricing procedure that is used by SCP IDES system so you can make use of that and I told you this is only the first step there's another step because as you can see here there is something called customer pricing procedure CUPP stands for customer pricing procedure <coughs> this is another, another level subdivision uh, that we can use to use this different pricing procedure for each and every customer for example since we have assigned a uh, pricing procedure at the uh, sales area level you may want to differentiate further differentiate the uh, pricing techniques for a certain customer group so if that kind of uh, situation arises you can make use of this additional field to further subdivide the pricing procedure techniques so once well, you have assigned one here the same number should also be assigned in our customer let me show you where to assign it go to xd02 to change the sales area go in to your customer blocked by another user so i think this already open in the background let me close this yeah over here go in here let me close it okay go to xd02 pull out the customer and can you see this customer pricing procedure field here you can choose one here and save it so now that one will be linking with this one here if you leave it empty then the system will look for a combination whereby sales organization NY, RE, LP and MT customer pricing procedure MT they will not find any so it will th throw an error so if you want that to uh, be a on an option as well where the customer pricing procedure to be empty you need to create another entry here something like this and raise this off and save this so that we have another combination of uh, sales area and pricing procedure determination where the customer pricing procedure is empty but we are not going to do that this is just for additional knowledge we are going to use uh, customer pricing procedure 1 so once this is done I think we have cleared the error let me try that now quit quit the screen because we won't be refreshed let me come in press enter choose the 
customer and press enter so the error message has been cleared so you did not get any error message when you press enter so these are the two prerequisites that you have to remember before creating a sales quotation the first one is to assign a partner determination for the account group and the second one is to uh, actually assign a, a pricing procedure to the sales area and assign the customer pricing procedure in the customer master data, data sales view I've shown you these two steps okay if you want to understand more about a uh, partner functions please read